Hello there, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to generate coloring book pages using Leonardo AI. Firstly, you're going to head over to their website and go to the AI image generation page. After that, you're going to go into the fine tune models area and then select set custom model. After that, you're going to go into the community models and search coloring book. After searching, just click this one and hit generate with this model. After that, you can go into the alchemy and change it to none and add a negative prompt. In the negative prompt, just type out what you don't want. For example, And in the actual prompt, just type Just type your prompt like this, you can edit this part which is the subject. You have to keep the rest same as we are generating a coloring book page. After entering the negative prompt, you're going to write your actual prompt. In the actual prompt, just write coloring book page and then the subject and then you're going to type And hit generate. Here it generated us a little detailed version of the coloring book page so what we're going to do is remove the negative prompt and type simple coloring book page and for contrast you're just going to type high contrast. Hit generate again. It still generated us a detailed version so we can just remove the high contrast part and add coloring book again. And hit generate. Now we have better page generations. We could also just experiment with the prompt and delete everything and just type dog coloring book page. Hit generate again. It generated us a coloring book page, but it's pre colored, so we can just add more detail. Like you can make it white and black and add thick line art or thick marker. Hit generate again. Now we have slightly better results. You can change the subject to a cat if you'd like or a turtle. After it generates, you can choose one you like. And then what you're going to do is either right click and save image as and choose where you want to save it on your PC. Or you can hit the download button down here and it will download the image onto your computer. After it's done downloading, you're going to open another tab and open a website called Big JPG. You're going to hit the first link, it's called bigjpg.com. After opening it, you're going to enter your image here. And you're going to hit start. What this basically does is that it resizes your image to make it a little better and larger than the resolution that Leonardo AI creates it in. What you're going to do is hit 4x as the 8x and 16x versions are not free and you have to get an upgraded plan for that. But 4x is the best free option. You're going to choose none in the noise reduction and keep the image type as artwork for the best results and hit OK. After that, it will upload your image and generate you a resized version of it. After it completes, just hit the download button and it will download you the resized version of your image into your computer. Now, while this was downloading, I also generated some more images. 
using some different prompts which I'll show you right here. Now for these ones look more simple for a coloring book like this or like this. I used the prompt called parrot coloring book white and black but I added something called thick markers so the AI only generates it using a thick marker effect. Now I also added a negative prompt for these which is gray tones color filled in and detailed art so it doesn't fill in our images and it doesn't generate any detail art with color you can see some other options I generated here it's an angel flower coloring book white and black thick marker with the same negative prompt all I did was change this topic of it down here I generated a garden fairy with the same prompts the negative prompt is also the same and it gave us this effect now down here I generated a turtle with the same prompt just a different topic and the negative prompt was also the same it generated a, a more coloring book type image and down here I also did the same but the negative prompt was only gray tones and you can see how much of a difference it makes but you can just experiment with the prompt on your own that sums up the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.